Local high school football playoffs are underway with the second round kicking off this Friday. The Ray Peck Panthers are on the road to their best season in school history, perhaps even a state title after two of their worst seasons. Our Breland Moore talked to one player about his own comeback story. Definitely one of the hardest workers I know in the off season, on the field, off the field. He's, you know, he's there for everybody. He's a great captain. Heck, coaches, we count on him, you know, to, to get, you know, if things are awry, you know, within the team, you know, uh, Gerald's the guy that they'll turn to. He's probably one of the hardest workers on the team. He's come back from a lot. Gerald Sheely is a defensive end for the Raymar Peculiar Panthers football team. He's a senior and a captain, and he's second on the team in sacks with three so far this year. He's a standout and a favorite, but for Gerald, the journey to get here wasn't easy. Most people have been playing since like Little League and stuff like that, but I started freshman year, so it's a little different for me. It's a little limited time, so I wanted to take advantage of as much time as I had. Gerald started his football career as a freshman at Ray Peck, but early on, he showed signs of being a standout. He got playing time his freshman year and then started getting time on varsity as a sophomore for special teams. It seemed like the beginning of a promising career, but it turned out to be the start of a much longer journey. It was the, I think it was one of the trainers told me that um, it was a bad injury. I was just absolutely devastated. Just a few games into the season, Gerald had torn his MCL. The injury would sideline him for the remainder of his sophomore year, but the question of whether to return for his junior season was an easy one. It was kind of just one of those things where it's like, you gotta just go with it figure it out. Gerald and his mom, Karen, started the six to eight week recovery process, and it wasn't easy. He was confined to crutches for weeks, struggling with tasks that were once so simple. But Gerald never complained. One thing about it is Gerald never complained. He was very, very resilient through the entire thing. He probably was stronger than I was. He slowly regained his ability to walk, run, and eventually play football. Now he had a fresh season and a chance to go out and prove himself after an off-season comeback. It was the shot that he needed until the worst happened yet again. This time, his mom was in the stands. So I saw him. I saw the play. I saw his agony. I saw him rolling on the ground. I went over to, um, I don't know, the bench, wherever they were sitting. He was crying, and I could tell it was tears of pain, tears of frustration. The doctors told Gerald he had a torn MCL and ACL, along with some bone bruises and other small injuries. It was also on the exact same leg he'd rehabbed just a year before. And while the thought did cross his mind, Gerald decided he wanted to return for his senior year for one simple reason. I couldn't imagine myself going back to sitting in the student section and not playing. Like, not being out there just not a, not an option for me. For the second time, he'd work his way back from a debilitating injury. I can't think of one time that he complained, honestly. He had a very good attitude and he was always um, pretty much like, um, I just have to deal with it, but I want to get back and play football. And he did. Gerald returned to his senior season. His coaches quickly took notice of his work ethic, which set him apart from the other players. He just leads by example. He, he's um, he's first one to practice, first one to leave, last one to leave, first, you know, he does everything that you would think. And then yet he also takes care of his teammates and his teammates know they can count on him for just about anything. His teammates are also equally filled with pride and admiration. After watching him come back, not once, but twice from a major injury. If you want to go off of anybody on the team, it would be him. The hard work, the motivation, the dedication, all of it. You want to, the attitude, for sure. Um, he, he brings something that not a lot of kids are able to bring to high school football, and it's rare. As for Gerald's mom, she's just happy to see him out on the field every week, and even happier to watch him walk off of it. To make captain, to just have an opportunity to complete the season, you know. Um, I, I can't even explain. I'm extremely proud of him. I am so happy for him. Um, each game when he walks off the field, I'm ecstatic. We run, hug each other. While Gerald hasn't decided if or where he'll play football in college, his coach certainly thinks he has what it takes to make it to the next level. And those who know him would have to agree. The drive that that young man has 
towards life, not just football. That's, that's his drive towards life. That's, that's the kind of kid that he is. He's going to be successful at whatever he does. Breland Moore, KCTV 5 Sports. Well, Ray Pack has won nine games so far this season and only lost two. They are ranked as the sixth best team in Missouri and will be put to the test this Friday in the second round of the state playoffs as they hit the road against undefeated Liberty North. Remember, kickoff for that game is at 7 o'clock. We'll be right back.